The Indian Cultural Forum welcomes theatre person Sanjana Kapoor. Thank you, Sanjana, for being with us. Thank you, Geeta. Sanjana, I wanted to start with this range of experience you've had, uh, first at the Prithvi Theatre and now with Junoon. Would you tell us a little about uh, the object of Prithvi and now Junoon? Well, I think Prithvi was set up primarily just for one reason, to try and be a home to the development of professional theatre, quite simply put. Um, that was its aim. Uh, and in those days, it was predominantly Hindi theatre and creating a home for Hindi theatre in the city of Bombay. Um, of course, as it evolved over time, it just took on a different sort of uh, responsibility, at least I felt it was, uh, that it had to bear. Um, and I worked there for far too many years, 21 years. Um, and then four years ago, Junoon came into being with Samira and me setting that up. And that was really, I think our ambitions and dreams got much, much broader. I wanted to really leap into impacting and one had slowly started doing that at Prithvi, but impacting our urban scenario in, in a much larger way across the country uh, and seeding little, little um, bunion trees, hopefully, that will grow and flourish. But, but yeah, um, and so we do this very in very tiny little baby steps at the moment. We've got a, in Bombay itself, we've got Mumbai Local, which is a, a conversation we have with artists uh, once a week across the city, uh, which is quite gorgeous. Um, and for lay people, it's public, it's open, it's free for, for the audience. And then we have a school program where we go out into schools across the country and, and uh, really expose 500, a group of 500 children to the deliciousness of the, the performing world uh, across the performing arts. And then we also bring artists from across the arts. So it could be filmmaking, it could be writers. Uh, and we just use this exposure to creativity in the arts for children to trigger their own uh, creative juices and let them understand possibility. I think that's really important. And then, and that's it. We do that for five days intensely once a year. You've used a word which I think uh, is really important for all of us cultural practitioners, um, possibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a sense, that's what we do, isn't it? And uh, people use the word culture all the time. And in a way, you have described what a particular stream of culture is through the activity. So. Suppose we go straight away to the uh, where we are now with Indian culture, capital I, capital C, mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, uh, various people who want to tell us what it is mm -hmm. and how to practice it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love uh, to hear what you have to say about the experiences you've had through Prithvi or any other uh, cultural practice where you've actually got a certain kind of censorship, which strictly speaking is not censorship, mm. intimidation perhaps. Mm. Well, it's interesting being in Bombay and, and the whole debate on, 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 on the official censorship in itself um, is something that actually I think I haven't really spent enough time on in Bombay, but, but we, are, we have a censor board for theatre in Bombay and Gujarat. Uh, and uh, so we have to get every script censored. And in a strange way, that works, dare I say it, as a sort of protective measure in a weird, weird way uh, through these new forces that are getting more and more volatile in our, in our field. So because you can say that my script is censored, uh, you have that standing to go to the cops with to say, well, tell me what's wrong in what I'm doing. And that has happened. I have experienced these situations where I've actually had uh, the backing. And, and what we very cleverly have managed to do over many, many years is have at least two um, theatrewalas who are our stooges, who are on the censor board, who, who get in there and, 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 and get to know what's going on. And this has been the practice in, in Maharashtra, at least, for, for forever. How, how does it work? Uh, it, no, this is because I was really thinking of, of the performance being uh, censored. No, 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 and no, you've taken us course, back. Of course, of course. So how exactly does so that work? So you have a script. You have a script. You have to send your script to the censor board. It takes usually at least a month. And uh, in a festival situation where, for Prithvi, for instance, when we're inviting shows, we have to get them censored, um, inviting shows from out you're of the state. You're using the word state. censored, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's you're really saying approved. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a different sort of. Uh, there's no, there's no certification. Mm. So they have to, mm. they have to just see that there's nothing offensive. And I have, I'll tell you, I'll give you a few incidents, incidences, and then I'll give you. Uh, there mm -hmm. are the other mm -hmm. stories, of course, mm -hmm. which is the social censorship as well. One has faced both. Um, so, for instance, the only time I've ever had to, well, I'm just reading a beautiful book by Shanta Gokhale on, on Satyadev Dube and how he uh, used to really play around with playwrights' works and turn the meanings upside down and change characters. I mean, he did treacherous things, but still he playwrights, most of them adored him, except for one who took great umbrage to what Dubé did to his play. He actually got one character, the main character, to be played by three people. Um, and so that playwright at the same time, and this was in the 60s or 70s, 70s, went and produced the play himself. So simultaneously in Bombay, you had these two shows going on at the same play. Ironically enough, Dubé actually made this statement once when he was accosted by, by, by a young person saying, how could you do this? Why could you, how could you mutilate the playwright's play? And Dubé, without ranting and raving, which was not his style, he did rant and rave a lot, actually silently said, you know, the censor board has asked me to make cuts in this play and I'm fighting them. I haven't made a single cut, I haven't changed a single word, but I've changed, you know, how I'm presenting it. The playwright, has made all the changes that the censor board has asked him to make. And yet he's doing the play. This is learning so this to is, write. So, so this is really interesting. Uh, I mean, so, so given an, a completely different uh, experience with, with, for instance, the so one time I had a, I had, um, I'm not even going to mention them because I refuse to mention them, a very sidey Hindutva organization come and try and attempt to ban a play on M.F. Hussain's life by Nadira Babar's company, Ekjut. And uh, uh, it was Pencil Se Brashtak, I think it was called. It was, it was actually quite a lovely play about his life, autobiography of his life. Um, and they claimed that it was... Uh, they didn't. They basically were on a mission to stop anything that ever had anything to do with, uh, a cl you know, claiming that M. F. Hussain was a great artist, and they wanted to put. I went to their website, and they wanted to put this on their website, yet another thing banned or stopped by them, and it was a great moment of glory for them that the play would be stopped at Prithvi Theatre. Um, it was the most horrendous two days of my life. It was a weekend and I had to spend it in a police station talking to the cops and my cops wouldn't talk to me locally. My, my local police station were too busy. So I had to go to the, the area district, the area superintendent. And he finally did meet us. He met them, us and the producers together and had a one hour conversation and finally said, listen, you can do it, right? And the producers had dis decided to, to change the play ever so slightly with one or two scenes. Of course, they hadn't seen the play, the Hindutva outfit, but they came to see it. The only thing the cops asked me to do is get two members of the censor board to watch it again. Because all I said was, you tell me what I'm doing is illegal, and I, I'll stop. I mean, if I'm, am I doing something illegal? You've got to back me if I'm not. So he just said, get two members of the censor board to OK it again and see it. This is not a norm. It's, it, actually, the norm in Bombay is you have to have two seats reserved for the censor board. If ever they want to come and see a show, they can. Every day? Any day, anywhere in the whole of the state, this is supposed to be a, a, a norm. It never really happens. So I got two of my friends on the censor board to come and see the play, two playwrights, um, and they came. And of course, I muscled up all my theater wallas to come and be my bouncers in case there was any ruckus on that day. And the cops came. So we were allowed to do the show, and the show happened. Mm -hmm. And the Hindutva organization had nothing to say. They sat there with their pen and paper and their phone, and I had the great thrill of being able to tell them to put their phone off during the show because it's not allowed. But they, they had, there was nothing offensive about the show and so that went on fine but we have not always been so fortunate we've had plays banned we've had Shakespeare oh, many many years ago um, Shakespeare ki Ramayan which was a very actually cleverly written satire m merging Romeo and Juliet and the Ramayan together in poetry uh, absurd uh, written by Iqbal, Iqbal Khwaja Iqbal Khwaja half Hindu half Muslim but uh, had his, I mean, I was not involved at that time. I was not working at Prithvi. It was before my time, but he had, I think, chapels garlanded on his, you know, on him, black face, black, and uh, I mean, there's there's a history of this. 300 people outside Prithvi Theatre coming to burn the theatre down. Um, the show, then he changed it to Shakespeare Key 
शेक्सपियर की हिंदी फिल्म कम्प्लीटली he made it you know it was it, 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 the, the play wasn't the same um so they they they've been they've been horrendous situations so the various tactics of self censorship different levels of it so in a way clever I mean, the, or otherwise as i said you know the one time the 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 mf hussein plane happened i had the sense about that i could bank on as a form of strength to say this play should be allowed to be performed because it's been censored and the cops had to help me with that they had to support me on that otherwise they could have just said oh no no you know everybody was trying to convince me to postpone it do it later it was close to election time and the typical fear thing that you it's easier it's easier it happens there's there was another kalagoda festival in bombay where he where the director and I spoke to him at length uh and he decided to ban a play that was somebody again wrote the same organization wrote to him a play uh i think it was based on was it afzal guru or, or kasab it was a one person show and and uh, what are these characters before um before they're hanging um and it was it was banned they stopped it they didn't do it and i and this man this director of the festival didn't even ask anybody in the community to say can we support each other uh can we muster up enough courage to gather around and there's a beautiful beautiful news article i read uh, about 3 years ago i was coming back from africa um and it was actually in a south african newspaper uh, of the poznan theater festival in Pol- poland that i've been to which is extraordinary theater festival um again american play was invited uh, a lot of christian uh themes in the play uh, and it was a christian right right wing group in poland asked the director to ban the play to stop it from being performed he cowed down and he he stopped the show the show didn't happen but what was extraordinary and what was such a learning for me and and such a fantastic inspiration um within the next week that sunday after that the leading newspaper printed the entire script uh there were in the next 10 days uh, 300 public readings from the play in public spaces by the top artists of the country in Poland and very often most often they were surrounded by groups of christians around them singing hymns and so there was this act of 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 public um dissent in yes. both ways yes. no violence no aggression no fear it was uh, uh uh it was incredible it was like yes we will we will voice our opinion we'll agree to disagree culturally and we will yes and we will be decent civilized human beings when we do this the so much so that the the festival director was forced to have a public debate um where he actually called the mayor and he called the politicians and and they actually had this public debate and a young person in the audience said you know i actually didn't know anything about the politics of all this but i'm just so grateful to be here right now at this moment and hear all the of you voice your opinions and for me this makes me feel happy that i belong to poland you know and i, and I think that that is why can we not see that in this country yes i uh, in, in fact that's what i wanted to uh lead you to and you've um, got to that yourself which is uh we've seen that uh, in the experience of theater whether it's worldwide or in india that there are certain strategies that have been used to uh counter opposition to free cultural practice and you have equated free cultural practice with a certain form of public debate because that's essentially what it is uh what would you say sanjana to young people uh, groups not necessarily from the proscenium theater but uh, say uh, activist groups uh, small groups in small places uh, actually taking theater to the people and uh, what would you say to them in the times we're living in where you could be the play could be banned you could be intimidated you could be hounded and recently we've discovered you could even be uh attacked or killed um what what would you say you know when it when it uh gita when it comes to your personal safety and your life 
I mean, there's nothing more important than your life. So there's nothing that I would ever say which would provoke anybody to, to actually of put course. their life out there and say yes. Mm. Their but life you don't know. or the audience's life. So <laughs> for instance, exactly, I mean, it's your, the viewers who are around you. However, uh, I mean, that's where we're living in, right? We're living in a state of such fear that we are self-censoring ourselves. We are, we are thinking twice. We're saying, should I do this or should I not do this? Is this going to create this kind of a, of, a, of a response? I think what we need to do is we need to think strategically. Yes, this is going to create, this is possible to create this kind of a response. How can we muster up all our friends in every walk of life? And the point is, the trick is, I think we have to have friends out there. We have to make, we can't be just talking to ourselves. If we're talking to the converted, what's the point? I think we have to go out there and actually physically say, but let me debate with you, explain, let's talk, let's understand that we can have a conversation. Um, and yes, we can get angry and cross and bad tempered and shout and scream, but not actually destroy the link of having a conversation because then that doesn't mean anything. Um, and, I, and for me, that's the big challenge. I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have any one magic wand that says we can do it. But the, the, the plea would be that we don't give up that. And we actually, it's not a question of giving up that space. That space doesn't exist. We have to create it. We have to create that space. And that's, I think, the huge challenge. I mean, uh, even, if, even if on a personal level one is confronted by, by a situation, we have to groom ourselves and our, and our brain and our emotion and our physical being to be able to actually hold our ground without getting hysterical, without getting emotional, and be able to actually Im engage. Yeah. And I don't know how to do it. I'm not sure I know how to do it, but I, I know that engaging is, is critically important. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you.